Good morning, everyone. It is about two minutes to go before we officially start. Can I get a thumbs up if you can all hear me and see what the slides All right, so good afternoon, everyone. I'm Basila Zumzumani, and I'll be presenting the Research Connect info session for you today. So this is just an organogram to provide you with some background on the university's division for research development, or the DRD for short. Research Connect is housed by the Research Grants Office, and we also deal with institutional, national, and international funding. The Grants Office team is made up of the director, Malibu, Lizal, the manager of international grants, with a focus on revising your funding, Myself, I mostly work on Horizon Euro funding, but in particular the AU EU innovation agenda, as well as the Research Connect platform. Levert, who works on US funding, and Dominic and Shannon, who both work on UK funding, such as UCRI and Balkan Trust, as well as institutional and national funding. So by now, you should all be aware that Open Research got a makeover. The platform migrated to Research Connect, which is the latest evolution of the Open for Research um, earlier this year. The new platform offers a more intuitive browsing experience with even more features to optimize your search for funding. All your backups and alerts will automatically transfer during the migration process, and you can use the same login details as before. You can find information on Research Connect several ways, either through the DRD's listserv emails. So please subscribe to this as we also send out other funding calls via these emails. Information can also be found on the postdoc and postgrad students' newsletters. Kindly note that the single sign on option is not currently enabled for Stellenbosch University. So please do not attempt to log in via. Um, to log in via my institution, use your SU email address and password instead, and this would be your original Open for Research password. If you do not remember the password, please follow the Forgot Your Password link. So, navigating the new Research Connect platform is easy. You can click on the star icon to access the page features add-on. As the name suggests, it will explain every feature of the specific web page that you are on. Then a pop up will appear on each item, and you can toggle between these different features by clicking next or back. You can also see this process in this video demonstrating how that would work. So if you click on the question mark icon, you can access the how to guides. And all these guides are in video format and each video is roughly two minutes long. So watching all the videos together will take just under 15 minutes. And then of course you can also download the videos for link to use. So this is just a list of all the new features on Research Connect, and I will go through each of these features in detail. Please note, the last two features will mainly be used by us at the Grants Office, but departmental and research group administrators are welcome to contact us for further information on how these features may benefit them. First, we'll take a look at deadline reminders. So your search for funding has yielded some results and you want to set up a deadline reminder for the funding call that you are interested in. You can click on the calendar icon to select the frequency of a reminder alert. This will actually export an ICS file to your downloads file, uh, folder. And when you double click on the ICS file, you will link directly to your device's default calendar, which is either gonna be MS Outlook or Google. And you can also right click on the ICS file itself to choose which program you want to open it. 
You can also export a report document in Excel format on Research Connect when you want to save the results of your funding search so you can access this on offline. On Open for Research, you could only save reports in Word format. On Research Connect, you can also choose the level of detail for your report template. So I will demonstrate how this would work. So your first option is to select all the items on this page or in all the results. Then you can press the download icon and choose Excel on the drop down menu. You can then complete additional details like a report title, description, and client name. And in the second option, you can just select the result items individually, and then you would follow the same process as before. This is what the Excel file would look like, and you'll see all the relevant details of each funding call. For the alert frequency feature, you need to first save a search in a new folder or a default folder. You can then access your saved items by clicking on the folder icon at the top of the web page. From there, you're able to change the frequency of alerts, either monthly, daily, etc., versus only weekly in Open for yes. Research. So, this feature is how you let Research Connect work for you. You can build different searches, save and name them and receive alerts straight to your email when new funding opportunities become available. Okay, and now we can move on to the share option feature. And with this feature, you can create alerts for other users, even if they don't use the database or have an SU email address. And you can see there, I was able to share some information to my personal Gmail account. The Elasticsearch feature is actually an algorithm on Research Connect that automatically extends searches to include calls for projects that contain keywords related to those entered by users. In this example, I used information management as keywords. A basic keyword search uses OR by default, so results with funding for either information or management will be shown. You can refine your search using the advanced keyword search. For example, putting a plus sign in front of each of the keywords gives results that include information and management. Putting both results, or rather putting both keywords as a phrase between quotation marks, refines the search even further. You'll notice we moved from 636 results to two results through this refinement process. And so conducting an advanced keyword search is also easy because the platform has a search tips tab at the end of the search bar. Then underneath the search bar on your left, you will see the filter options for search results. Additional filters on Research Connect give you the option to exclude certain funders from the results and to filter certain results by a date range. 
The bulletin is a monthly summary of all major calls issued during the current month for general monitoring by fee. You can share this and download it also as PDF document. And it will look something like that. And when it comes to the workgroup management feature, um, this gives us the possibility as administrators of creating mailing lists by laboratory or theme um, in order to send group mailings. So if your research group is interested in this, please contact me for more information. So applying for funding opportunities, should you find a suitable call and you are eligible to apply, please keep the following in mind. If there is any requirement for a document indicating institutional support, institutional signature required on the application forms, etc., please let us know well in advance so that we can prioritize this before the deadline for submission. And that's it. If you would like to know more, please send an email to researchconnect at sun.ac.za or to myself. Feel free to ask any questions that you might have now. Hello, are you getting me? Hello, yes, but the connection is a little bit sketchy. Are you able to hear me? Yes, I'm able to get you. Um, I'm asking. For those of us who are doing PhD and we we only want class to enable us travel and accommodation, do you also give uh, such types of grants for traveling and accommodation purposes to attend the free pre doctoral programs? Uh, yes, we do offer uh, institutional travel funding and I be able to send you the email address of the relevant person to contact for that. But also when you use the Research Connect platform, you're able to filter the type of funding that you're looking for to find external okay, sources thank you. of funding. Find the emails of my colleague in the chat. If there are no other questions at this point, we can end the information seminar and you will also receive a recording of this for later use. Thank you everyone. Cheers.